Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great weekend. I am here to do the Your Answers Can't Be Books tag. Um, this is created by BookBuds. They have a really great channel. I think their reenactments are hilarious. Um, I was tagged by Vin at Revenant Reads and by Jim at Jim's Books Reading and Stuff. So thank you both for tagging me. Um, I can't say that I'm a very interesting person, um, but y'all asked for it, so here are my answers. Um, so what is something that you own way too many of other than books? Um, so I own a lot of shoes and I also own a lot of plants. Um, the issue that I've got is I live in a very small apartment and um, I've got some pretty large plants. So I've got a monster in the corner that looks like it's going to topple over in its own weight. Um, during the pandemic, it was pretty bad because I had nothing else to spend money on other than books and plants. So I was growing tomatoes in the bedroom. Um, it's not quite that bad anymore, but um, I've got a lot of plants and uh, there's some behind me. Um, if anybody knows how to take care of an alocasia poly, let me know because that's the only plant that I can't seem to keep alive. Um, so yeah, but uh, there's some maranta, some beautiful maranta. It looks like stained glass. Absolutely love this plant. Um, but anyways, moving on. The next question is what is something that you do for fun that's not reading a book? Um, so on a normal evening or day, um, I like to go for walks. Um, I like to go for walks through cemeteries, which might sound a bit odd, but, um, I feel a little less weird now that I, I heard that Bill Rutenberg also likes to go through walks, um, for walks through cemeteries as well. Um, I like to go to museums and historical places. Um, so in the UK, that's not that's not an issue because there's loads of castles and, and homes that are older than the US. Um, and uh, I like water sports like kayaking and stand up paddle boarding, but I don't do that often enough. Um, but if it's just a standard evening after work, you could probably find me on the couch watching a film with my husband because he's really into his films. Um, so yeah, other, uh, so the next question is, um, what is something special or important on your nightstand that's not a book? So this might be cheating, but um, I don't have anything on my nightstand other than um, a headlight. And that's kind of weird, but I bought it for um, mountain climbing a few years back and I didn't even use it for the mountain climbing experience and I couldn't take it back for a refund. So I was like, well, I might as well use it for books. Um, which is really weird because I look like an absolute dork with a head torch on my head while I'm reading in bed. So weird story about me, but I'm not going to buy an actual book lamp when I've got that. I could buy a lamp, but I suppose I don't need it when I've got this. <laughs> so anyways, um, the next question is what is something uh, that you buy at a bookstore other than books? Um, these notepads, I've got a big one here. I really like these notepads. They're um, affordable. They look nice and uh, they're great for just jotting things down. Um, so the next question, um, what is a gift that you received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? Um, my slow cooker. Love my slow cooker. Um, and the next question is, what is a YouTube channel that you watch that's not related to books? Um, so I was, I, when I watched Vince, he mentioned, uh, Tasting History, and this is a great channel. Um, it's, uh, the, the guy who does it, Max Miller, he, um, runs this channel called Tasting History where he, um, he makes, uh, he bakes or cooks, um, recipes from the past. So he made garum from ancient Rome. He made dishes from, you know, ancient Sparta loads of medieval dishes. Um, Sally Lundbuns, his video on Sally Lundbuns is great um, because it's not only educational, but Max Miller is absolutely hilarious. So charismatic. So you have a great time, you know, you're having fun while you watch them as well. Um, and a similar challenge, uh, channel to that that I like is um, Townsend's. Um, so they're a cooking channel, but um, it's it has a very 18th century theme to it. Um, so a lot of the, you know, there's a revolutionary war sort of homestead flair to, to the, the channel. Um, and another one that I like is Stefan Milo. Um, he is a Sheffield archaeology graduate who I believe lives in the States now with his wife, but he does archaeology videos. And again, super hilarious. I love it when I laugh and learn at the same time. Um, 
So yeah, I like to watch those and, and some other various documentary um, style channels on, on YouTube. Um, so the final question is uh, tag five uh, booktubers. So um, I'm sure all of these individuals have already been tagged already, but I'm going to say um, Ben, the history fellow, um, Bill Rutenberg, and uh, Peg at the history shelf. I'd be interested to see what she has to say. And another YouTuber that I um, recently su subscribed to and I really enjoy, um, James Holden. Um, if you haven't been tagged yet, if you even watch my videos, um, I invite you to do this tag. Um, so thanks again to Vin and to Jim for tagging me in this. Um, now you know probably way too much about me, too many weird things as well. Uh, but there you go. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.